Mark's a great character. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen's the Smash Bros. Looks like Jack or Y. Just saw that comment. All right. Yeah, this is Enzo. So, no, nothing on Summer Haze, but I feel like we'll like see a bit more optimal things from Enzo, mm -hmm. from what I've heard of uh, his play with the Villager. Because yeah, he does really well in his area. But he, he arguably has a better matchup than Summer he's had to deal with, with Rosa. That's him. So, he's allowed to actually play the game now. Oh, Cody's watching. What's up? Oh, I'm not supposed to talk to him. Anyway, so yeah. Do whatever. Let's get Dancing Blade. And now... So, I hear, like, PG Dom complain about this matchup a lot. Like... That after match would have killed him, I'm pretty Ooh. sure. Oh, uh, why is that? Why is he complaining? Just, we got tax out here. Really tech. Just because it's like we got tax out here. This man, we got tax out here. He's not afraid to just live off stage. Who, um, Enzo? Enzo. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you play characters like this or a spacey, you're gonna have to be ready to attack. Mm. Not. Tried to stall that, his recovery, but that was a good way to do was... it. Such a precise slash into the lane. Oh, if he got the triple, that would have killed. That would have been a really good conversion. But yeah, like, I, I know Dom doesn't like this matchup. I'm not sure why. I guess, like, in close quarters, what is Village supposed to do? But Enzo's making it look not too bad. Yeah, but. Then you realize Six has gotten like three consecutive dancing wave strings on him. Mm -hmm. and now while you asked. while you talked about that, tried to throw off his attack timing by delaying the upbeat. See, like he's he's just going for bread and butter mark, just side being him. Oh man, these tempers hurt. Ooh, sliced. Cuts. That that's a boring word. Sliced. Or slices. Not yeah. slices, sliced. Slices, slices, slices is a different character. Oh. Shout out to two dollar slices. Six taking game one with a convincing win. Um, I feel like, I feel like Enzo was letting him have that second stock though. He kept, yeah. just kept, he wasn't defending enough. He kept trying to like, either punish him or just not respect the dance. Yeah, he blade. wasn't respecting the blade at all. And he kept dancing blade, like, like I said, it's just like holding shield. It's just like, after like. Hold shield Swipe two. if he's close enough. Just out of shield near in between yeah. one of the, like the hits. If he delays it, because you know people will do that if they realize it's, it's on shield. I don't. I feel. Like, I don't know. He could have taken him somewhere like FD, yeah. unless he banned it. Just like Walmart out, because Village was able to do that, make his life hard. Trying to anti-air with the up smash. Playing right outside of Mars range at the ledge there. Six, six sticking to bread and butter, you know, Mars play. Mm -hmm. Not doing anything too crazy, cause why? Just, just smart, patient play, mm -hmm. waiting for those chances to get him. Anti airing him with the nair. I feel like Six definitely doesn't know like the variations for side B that like you see Leo doing though. Mm -hmm. Like he won't be doing like down hit into Tipper. Did Nair Tipper Nair really kill? Yeah, from the middle strong. of the. Mar Marth buffs are great, man. Ooh, Ooh and he brings. Got him pressing buttons there. Now it's even. Alrighty. I don't like that up to that. That was. That was an interaction. Very strange interaction. That was a good bait on the dancing blade. See, like, like right there, like he's not like waiting a bit. Like he got caught c trying to c come out of shield with like a nair mm -hmm. with the dance blade instead of waiting it out. You know, it, it, like it's basically the telegraph now that he's gonna try and side beat for like a punish. Maybe he thought he was gonna come in like after the. No, uh, no, six I'd... six rolled behind him or something like that or. No, I mean like the counter. Like I don't. No, no, not. I was talking about like just like. Ends up picking up on those side bees. Like, oh no, I know that, but just like the counter that came out, I'm wondering like. Oh, I'm not why sure. Did... I don't remember the situation. Oh. And 
Axe is now in Axe. play. Mm -hmm. There we go. Axe out of his shield. That's how you want to punish. Like, he waited for it that time and punished. Ooh. Ooh almost that was caught a good him. Fade back. He's in a dangerous spot because yeah. he's at death percent to the mm -hmm. tippers. Oh. No. We live in. Yeah, he had to. He could have done it in the opposite direction, though. Or stalled with side being the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Oh man! Axe back in play. He, he, he like yeah, that tree. He has to be super careful. He's definitely a kill percent to anything now. And Marth will definitely have an easier time uh, killing Villager than Villager killing Marth. Mm -hmm. He just has to wall him out and look for those windows. There we go. Caught him off guard with that. So Enzo takes game two. I I. I really am wondering if he started to adapt to his dancing boys because, like, he he, st he waited for it the one time and asked him for it. Yeah, and you can see, like, after punishing it, or not even punishing it, just, like, not getting hit by it all the time. Yeah, like, he stopped getting, he stopped letting Marth have yeah. three punishes. So then you can see that, then like, you can play the game again. Just, like, play, picking di different options. Huh. So Marth is, Marth's advantage is insanely powerful. Like, he'll hit you once, you think you can punish him, and... It doesn't work out, and then you get hit again, and the, the, the situation keeps repeating itself. Who was who was Enzo playing recently? We saw him when we came in playing a different character. He was character. playing Diddy Kong against T-Souls. That's T -Souls. what it was, okay. Maybe he goes to Diddy for Sonic then, because I, I don't know much about Enzo. I wonder if Six is switching, going to switch to Corrin, or even just finally bring out Sonic. Okay. I feel like Corrin and Marth suffer the same problems as each other in this matchup, mm -hmm. where like they have a hard time just breaking through the wall. Yeah. Or you know, getting that optimal pa like advantage state. But he'll have um, Six will have Battlefield for Game Three to potentially just keep Villager in a juggle situation. Uh. And the platforms will help him with, like, you know, mobility and, like, you know... That standing. as well, to just uh, avoid a lot of villagers' walls. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe Korn's up air also beats out villager down air, if you space it correctly. For juggle situations. You would know better than me. But, um, yeah, but both, I was, as I was about to say, both of them can have an easy time dealing with a villager offstage when he's forced to recover. Mm -hmm. Corrin has insta pin. Marth has a bit more mobility and leeway to go off stage for him. Right. But Corrin has stronger options. Right. Like right there. If he dropped, he could have just died. Oh. Not gonna die yet. Ooh, that's that's a problem with this matchup though. Mm -hmm. Villager has access to pocketing a free punish option. Do He's looking for it. Do you think in that situation? If six did the side B, that would have like probably like poked Which him situation? through. Where in, uh, never mind. It's too far gone now. But he got pretty much what I wanted him to get. Okay, Ca caught him with the pin on right. the uh, like the water. on on the yeah, like through the platform. Because I think does it extend it, Jackal? Does it extend it? Like it'll it'll do what it did there, where like it'll pin him, but it'll pin to the, it'll extend, but it'll still pin to the to the, the platform. platform. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Caught him pressing the button again. Not that far behind. Yeah, I think Six tried to like pin Ooh. to the platform to avoid it, but it's messed up. But Enzo. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Was... Nah, he, he, was at, he was in the position where the kick wasn't gonna oh, hit him okay. if he did the turnaround. He was like right under him. Mm. That roll. roll. That was a good roll back. It was, but it also could have just spelled death because during the starter the frames. Time. That's where he should be trying to forward smash, right there. That's a free attempt at a forward smash. No rage, it's not going to kill you. He has a stun now. Oh. That one. Right. That one's going to take I'm it. And there's a set. I was actually shocked I killed. Well, not really, but like...
the way he was spinning in the black uh in the I wanna say it was glass. I wanna say it wasn't optimal DI because like he could have gone more towards the corner. Yeah. But even then, like I feel like he was going at a pace where it would have killed anyway, despite being stale. Mm -hmm. This was really good. Hmm? Enzo was really good. Yeah, he's pretty decent. I, w I wish he got those conversions off the, the stun pockets, though. Yeah. The first one was shielded, and the second one there, he just messed up the side he wanted to hit. Summer, Summer Hayes can take notes. Yeah. Um. I'm trying to think. Like. 